the Kawhi, the Kawhi Leonard, chill, chill. The uh -oh. Clipper hate, the Clipper uh -oh. hate, chill, Tam. Kawhi goes out with one back spasm, and you already, uh -oh. you already writing them off. Uh oh, here we go. What's what's up with that, chill, Tam? Here's, here's why. Off off of one here, back spasm. Here's why, Big Ox. Because number one, if you've ever had back spasm, you know how debilitating it is. That's the yeah, yeah, it is sit you down. So you can, yeah, you can. I mean, he but, actually left. Yeah, literally yeah. laid you down he couldn't even walk and this is just another episode of Kawhi Leonard that's what I'm thinking now do I think that this is going to put him out for the season no I don't think this is going to put him out for the season it better not put him out for the season big ox I know that it better not put him out for the damn season I know yeah. that for a fact yeah no I don't I don't think because I've had back spasm before mm -hmm. and there have been players who've had back spasm before so sure I don't I I don't think that this is going to put him out for the season but this is just another episode of As Kawhi Leonard Turns, and here we are again. He's been playing great this season. He looks like he's in year six. He's been, I think these are the most amount of games that he's played this season since the 2016-17 season. I don't think he's played more games since then. He's been super sharp, and I think he sat out against Milwaukee on Sunday. But mm -hmm. other than that, he's been, he's been relatively healthy. Here we are again. And the reason why I'm saying that, Big Ox, because what history have I seen with this crew recently? I ain't even talking about the last four years. What have I seen recently? Paul George goes out the lineup, comes back. Russ breaks his hand. Russ is going for a month. Just last night, Kawhi Leonard, after the first quarter, he's telling Ty Lue, I can't sit down because my back is killing me. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to wrap it up for the night. So here we go again. And it's just another example of why I can't trust these dudes, Big Ox. This is just another example mm -hmm. of why I can't put any faith in the Los Angeles Clippers. But sure, can you, you want like... me to get on this train, Big Ox? You want me to get on this train? I got to oh. see a parade on Figaro Boulevard in Los Angeles with the okay. Clippers. That's the only but way can, I can get on this can train. You, can you let Kawhi miss six, seven games straight with the back spasms first? Before we just make these assumptions that this is a Kawhi Leonard injury, like a, a chapter in the book? Let's let's take it a step further than that, big ox. I'll give him 10 games because that's what I'm used to anyway. I'm used to step, that's what I'm used to seeing anyway. So I'll give him 10 games. So if he gets 10 games where he's out the lineup, if I could get him healthy for the playoffs, I'll take that. But I don't know if I'm gonna get that. You know why? Because last year, what did I see? They they managed him really well. He got to the playoffs, broke down. The year before that, he didn't play because he tore his knee up. The year before that, he tore his knee up in the playoffs. So this has been an ongoing thing with him. I don't know how else to handle Kawhi Leonard. I don't know what how else to I don't know what else to say about him that's positive when it comes to injuries. Except here we go again, because this is all I've seen over the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to tell you. Can the Clippers not compete with James Harden and Paul George? I think they can compete. I don't think that they can win it. No, because again, Kawhi Leonard is the he's the post that's holding up the ten. Well, let's, I'm I'm saying I'm saying let's say let's say Kawhi and Russ both for like all right we're we're, chill, we're chilling to April, like we're we're gonna no. we're gonna we're gonna sit back to April we're gonna sit back to April what is it the playoffs usually start April sixteenth April eighteenth the, 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 the second week the, around the second week yeah. like the fourteenth so let's the fifteenth mm -hmm. let's say let's say they're like we're gonna we're gonna sit back into the second week of April 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 eighth mm -hmm. we're back we're back in it we'll play the last two games of the season. But for now, we're going to sit down for what would that make it? 12, 13 games. We're going to yep. cheer. Can, they might, I mean, they might, if, they, might if, be in, they might be in a playing tournament. Oh. They might be in a playing tournament, big hawks. I'm just saying, oh. they might be no, in a playing no, tournament. Chill. No, that way. might happen. <laughs> that might happen. Big hawks, they gave up a no. 22 point lead last night to oh, Minnesota. Right. No cat, right? No cat mm -hmm. at home. They gave up a 22 point lead. We're talking about a Los Angeles Clipper team who last night in the, in the third quarter, Six minutes. We're halfway through the third quarter, Big Ox. From six minutes to the end of the quarter, they mm -hmm. scored six points. The last three minutes of the quarter, they didn't score. They did not score. Norman Powell took three shots in the second half. Three shots in the second half he took. Now, I'm on, I'm, I'm on record saying that Malik Monk, yo, you got some smoke at that at, with the sixth man of the year because I think Norman Powell is going to give you a push. Right. But you have games like this. Right? When you have games like this where you basically disappear, I know guys are going to have off nights, but you have games like this where you are going to, where what's going to end up happening is you're going to go off the rails and you're going to miss some shots. I could get with that. 
But when you have dudes who only do, like kind of like D'Angelo Russell, right? Like, uh, let's see, not Rui, because I think Rui, I think Rui does a little bit more than score. But guys like D'Angelo Russell, when you got a guy who does only one thing, then it's different. It's way different. But a guy like, but a guy like Norman Powell, who, in addition to him missing shots, now he's got to deal with Anthony Day, Anthony Edwards. He lunch. He's straight lunch. I'm watching their sets, and we have to start when we watch the Los Angeles Clippers. We have to start talking about the ineffectiveness of Paul George. We have to. And the reason why is because I'm watching him last night. They did go up against the best defense in the league last night. Let's 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 not discount that, big guys. That's important to mention. They went up against the best defense in the league, so I think that's important to mention. But with that being said, with that being said, they run plenty of sets where you can get action to get Paul George one open shots, two to get him out, to get him out in transition where he can score. But we're we're still talking about Paul George like Paul George is a spring chicken. Paul George is in year fourteen. Right. Paul George is in year fourteen. I think he turns thirty four this summer. So Paul George is he's 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 coming up on the other side of what he used to be. He doesn't have that spurt. Not only does he not have that spurt, his shot making, I mean his shot creation, as good as it can be, it could be spotty now because a lot of the stuff he lived on was flight and athleticism. It looks like he's kind of slowing down. Now, no Russ. James Harden, again, he hasn't taken care of his body. So we see what he looks like, right? We see what he looks like. I've seen him go 0 for 10. I've seen him have bad shooting nights. With all of that being said, with Kawhi Leonard on the floor, I still think that they have a shot to win. But the post that's holding up the tent is real weary. And we saw last night that if his back goes out, which could happen at any point, we might lose him for a series. And it could be the difference in us winning and losing a series. You can't afford to lose him for a series, especially right. where you guys are right now. You can't afford to lose Kawhi Leonard for a series. Hell no. Right. You can no. afford to lose Kawhi Leonard for a game. I don't think you can afford to lose him for a series. Uh, it's